few people would think of Ireland as being home to reptiles. Our cloudy and often rainy weather does not seem ideal for cold-blooded creatures. However, we do in fact have one native species of reptile, the viviparous lizard. Otherwise known as the common lizard, this creature occurs in central and northern Europe, as far south as the Mediterranean, and east as far as the Pacific coast of Russia and Japan. Here in Ireland, we are at the western edge of this species' natural range, and it is in these colder northern latitudes that it earns its name, the viviparous lizard, as it gives birth to live young, unlike most reptiles that lay eggs. In Ireland, the common lizard can be found widespread in habitats such as grassland, coastal sites, bogland, and even in the uplands. The common lizard is often confused with another Irish species, the smooth newt. The smooth newt, however, is not a reptile, but an amphibian, similar to a frog or a toad. The common lizard and the smooth newt often occur in the same habitat, but can easily be told apart by their many differences. If you are taking part in the Irish Wildlife Trust Reptile Survey, or would simply like to get a glimpse of some of your native wildlife, then how do you spot this lizard? The easiest way to see them is to catch them out basking in the sun. Being cold-blooded creatures, lizards need to bask in the sun every day in order to get the energy to become active. The best time to find lizards is in the morning. So we would suggest walking areas in the morning, looking in sunny spots where two different vegetation types meet. So for example, where bracken or heather meets grassland. Good spots for seeing lizards would be sunny banks, rocky outcrops, and on upland walkways. The common lizard is Ireland's only native species of reptile. However, we now have a second species of reptile living in Ireland, the slow worm. The slow worm is a legless lizard, so it essentially looks quite like a snake. It is found in the west of Ireland, where it was introduced in the burn in the 1970s, and it can still be found there today. When surveying lizards, we use mats. Reptile surveying mats greatly increase your chances of finding lizards. They're basically just a rectangle of material cut out of wood, corrugated iron, old carpet, or like this one, roofing felt. The flat, dark coloured material heats up more quickly in the sun than the surrounding environment, and so creates a warm microclimate for the lizard. We place the mats throughout the survey site, ideally in a sunny south-facing location beside a change in vegetation, for example from gorse to grass. We then leave the mats for a couple of weeks to settle in. Then, on your survey visit, you come back and move from mat to mat. It's important to remember to move slowly and quietly as you approach each mat, because we're hoping to find a basking lizard. If you do not find any lizard on the mat, it's not the end of the world, because sometimes a disturbed lizard will run underneath the mat for shelter. So, we always take a look underneath also. And sometimes we'll find them there.